This afternoon, a disgruntled customer of the AT&T store on Commercial Drive was shot dead by an off-duty Rome police officer after the suspect shot a clerk in the store. Police said during a press briefing that the disgruntled customer walked inside the store and shot a clerk. Then, an off-duty Rome police officer returned fire, shooting and killing the suspect. State police told reporters on the scene that the clerk in the AT&T store was in surgery as of 2 o'clock on Thursday. More information will be known later in the day. We're going to give you a little preliminary of the investigation that we're conducting. At 12.55, we've got a report of a, a shooting at the AT&T store on Commercial uh, Drive. Um, when we arrived here, uh, information we have so far is uh, an employee was shot by an uh, irate customer. Uh, customer, we don't know why the customer was irate at this point, but uh, pulled out a handgun and the employee was shot. Uh, the employee right now is presently at the hospital. Uh, we don't know the condition at this point. Um, the subject that did the shooting was shot by an off-duty police officer, and at this time it will not give the agency uh, that, the sub that the police officer works for. Um, suspect is, is uh, deceased, and the investigation is continuing at this point. The shooter is deceased? The, the shooter, that the, the patron that came in that was irate was shot by an off-duty police officer and is deceased. Is there, is there anything wrong with the police officer? Is he okay? Police officer is fine. Is it a weapon? At this point, we're still investigating it. Um, it's, it's very preliminary right now. No, there was only two, two people shot, uh, the employee um, and the, uh, the suspect, the perpetrator. Now, this customer had made trouble before. How come nothing was done? At happened? this point, we, we're, we're very preliminary in this investigation, so I, I cannot even answer that. Given, uh, do you know approximate age of the, the person, the suspect? The... Uh, right, right now, we, just, we can't comment on anything specific. Um, as you all well know, we're in the preliminary portions of this investigation. Uh, we, as you can see what's going on behind us, we're deposing a number of witnesses as well as the, uh, uh, the people that were involved in this. We have one person in the hospital. So again, let us do our investigation. We, you know we'll get the press release out tonight. We'll be able to comment a little bit later once we have more information. And the reason we're not releasing names yet is the next of kin is the big thing. I mean, we just haven't notified them yet. So we want to make sure everyone's notified before we release anything public. Is the employee seriously injured? Yes. They're in surgery right now. It's correct. Uh, one shooter, one suspect. One, yes. One, yes. And it's correct to say that there were other witnesses or customers that were inside that were that were not shot. Right? That's correct. So the off-duty police officer would he be would he experience any like repercussions for? Way too early in the in the investigation to even make a comment on that. Um, right now, we're not releasing any specific information about that. Um, would you say that he was brave in what he did, just on the surface? Okay. He, re he reacted. He reacted to what what was going on. And uh, he, he took precaution and, and took action. Any idea what made him irate? At this point, like I said, it's very preliminary in investigation. We, can, we cannot give you any details because we, at this point, we really don't have them. Can you speak to the situation possibly have been, been much worse if that off-duty cop hadn't been there? I, I, I don't think there's any question. You know, his actions certainly appear to be heroic. But our investigations, our investigation is just preliminary right now. And, uh, you know, we don't want to get any more specific than that until we have more facts in front of us. You're asking great questions, and these are the questions our investigators are asking right now. What hospital did you make the I can't ask because I don't know the answer to that question. Yes. Sorry. Oh, no, it was narrated. Did you hear that he was shot outside the store? No, that is not true. Was, yes. Was the first officer on the scene, was that Don Lamb from Whitestown Police Department? Whitestown and New York Mills Police Department are, are involved in this investigation as well, and they were both arrived at the scene almost simultaneous. Came here to uh, visit with the at and uh, cell phone store to get my cell phone serviced. And that's my car parked over there at the 1980 Caddy. And uh, I pulled in, parked my car, and uh, it started toward the entry to the store when the unmarked police car, the white one over there, policeman came out with a pistol drawn and told whoever was outside there to get on the ground, get on the ground, repeated it several times. And I was like between, about halfway between the back of my car and that pickup truck. I think with you know, maybe another two or three minutes, maybe, you know, within minutes, I would have been inside the store amongst all the shooting. And uh, my understanding, several shots were fired in the store, whether by the, the policeman or the shooter. And uh, the people here in the uh, Harley Davidson store, 
well, they opened the door and shouted to me, get out of there, get out of there. So I ran and took shelter in their store. And uh, that's all I know about the incident. Did you hear the gunshots? No, I didn't hear the gunshots. Uh, the people at the Harley store told me several shots were fired.